All right, guys. Okay, in the last video that I did, I was talking about uh, strength versus stiffness, and it had to do with uh, the shape. Uh, you know, ver uh, you know, a flat panel versus uh, you know, basically like like a bucket, you know, of some format, and why, you know, you know, what is the difference between stiffness and and also strength? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, strength is the ability of a material, whatever material it is, to uh, withstand deflection or, you know, in this case, a load, okay, uh, before it physically fails, okay? That is, what that's, uh, that is what the definition of strength is. Now, stiffness is the ability of the material to withstand that load with minimal amount of deflection. So we, want, we, we don't want the material to bend, basically, is, is basically what we're doing. When we say it's stiff, it's very, it, does, it doesn't want to, to, to bend under the weight. That's one of the reasons why the carbon fiber and fiberglass uh, are so good as a material, because they, they have two properties at one time. They're both strong, because if you put a flat sheet you know, of material down and you put a load on it, it'll actually withstand that uh, tremendously. But if you turn it on its edge, uh, it's a, it, even though that it's a really thin material, it's incredibly stiff. So uh, I kind of like just wanted to show you kind of like a, an idea or, you know, of what it was. And what this came about was is that somebody asked me was is that if I did a rear deck, how would I do a rear deck? Well, the way I do rear decks is exactly like I do uh, the same thing for a seat baffle. I actually build a bucket and I mount it to the rear deck is the way I build it. So basically it's a six-sided box with a hole on the top side and then that's bolted to the, to the, uh, to the deck. The reason I do that is, is because I can actually, by putting the material on edge, okay, and then connecting it to, uh, to the baffle, uh, you know, the baffle lines and stuff, or let's say, let's say this is the actual flat section of the baffle, and I actually take the piece of wood you know, and put a, uh, you know, put a right angle to it right here, and that right angle is around the entire perimeter, it's now an incredibly, just like this object is here, it's incredibly strong, because I can, I could sit here and do this, um, you know, down like this, you know, I could actually get up on this table and stand on this, and this is just a thin piece of plastic, and, you know, that's how strong this object is, and that's because of shape. Okay, now that's what I keep trying to explain about these baffles. It's not about just sheer, you know, I'm going to throw a bunch of material on there and it's going to get better because I'm throwing a lot of material on it. It's because I'm going to use my noggin and I'm going to build it uh, more of an engineering standpoint. So here's a good example of it. So I've got these two pieces of material. Uh, it is three quarters of an inch in this direction and it's a half an inch in this direction. Okay. So, I'm going to take myself a little bit of weight. I'm going to put it on the, you know, the thing. And you can see here, because I have a scale on this side right there, um, I'm deflecting roughly about an inch, um, almost a full inch of deflection you know, here when I'm putting that down. Oops. So, you know, I put it on there, and that's pretty good. Now, if I take the same material, just turn her up so that it's now three quarters in profile, right? My deflection is less. I'm now at um, basically uh, maybe about five eighths, you know, a little bit over five eighths. So it's a little bit less than it was at the half inch point. But now if I take the two pieces of material and I now turn them into an engineered piece. Let me uh, grab a stapler real quick. So then I'm going to take that same material. All I've done is, is I've now taken the two pieces of material and I've locked them together put one on the longer three-quarter inch attached to the half inch laying on its side, right? So it should, you know, technically, you know, because the, at the half inch is adding a little bit of strength to it, 
but it should deflect almost as much as it was before. At least, at least a half an inch, I would figure, right? But it's not going to. It only deflects roughly about a quarter of an inch. All you get is about a quarter of an inch of deflection by that simple little trick of turning this edge on its side and attaching it to the flat surface. So if you take and apply this to a baffle situation, you know, you've got the main plate that you're, you're attaching on. That could be three quarters, half an inch, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then you box it out, just like I said, just like a bucket, okay? It's an this is just a wonderful, uh, strong object, but at the same time, it's incredibly stiff because now, not only can I just apply an enormous amount of weight on it or force, now in this case, we're dealing with force. We're talking about the energy of these speakers as they're moving up and down, they're applying kinetic energy directly to the surface and it's trying to move this. I mean, it, it wants to move it. It's, just, it's not maybe it does or it sort of kind of wants to, it wants to physically move. So, but because, you know, this thing, these walls here can't be more than like, God, I'd say maybe it's less than a sixteenth of an inch thick, okay? It's incredibly stiff because I can't, you know, it doesn't want to deflect. And part of that has to do with not only is it the thickness here, but because it's attached all the way around. So, basically, that's what I kind of wanted to show real quickly was is that the difference between strength and stiffness, okay, is that strength is the ability of an object to withstand load without breaking, okay? Or, or to withstand load until it breaks, you know, because that's how you figure out how strong it is, right? Uh, and so, but, str but stiffness is about the deflection, how much it can resist to deform, okay, is basically what we're trying to do. And that's what we want. And that allows us to build very lightweight enclosure structures but yet at the same time have an incredible strength at the same time. That's the reason why I do these baffles the way I do them. So, but anyway, I just wanted to, to give you, a, a, you know, an update real quickly on uh, stiffness and strength and why it's important to understand the two because you can apply this in any of the science and whenever you're working on a car or you're doing something or you're building something structural, you can look at it in terms of a way to build it so that it is both strong and stiff. So, all right, guys, I've got a lot to do tonight. Um, I've got, uh, I'll probably be back somewhere about midnight or so. I've got this Dodge to assemble. So, you guys have a good night, and if I don't see you again, have a great weekend.